Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how the Windows 10 troubleshooters will now work starting in May of 2019 with Windows 10 Build 1903. Currently, when you go to your troubleshooters, which are Start, Settings, Update and Security, and look here for Troubleshoot. Now usually they were listed right here, but there's a couple new settings here you can look at. You can scroll down and get to your troubleshooters right here, but you also have your history here. Any recommendations for you will be here. Here's your history. So if you've got this set on somebody's computer and you want to look and see what Windows have already tried to repair, it could possibly save you a little bit of time by seeing what Windows 10 tried to repair. So what we're looking for here is under this recommended troubleshooting section is the recommended troubleshooting settings. I have it set to ask me before fixing problems, but you can also choose tell me when problems get fixed and fix problems for me without asking. And this is all covered in the guide as well. We will embed this video and provide a link to this guide if you want to bookmark it or just take a look at the uh, screenshots, which pretty much tell you everything I just told you in the video. So it not it's a pretty big change, just that Instead of going and looking for troubleshootings when you have a problem, when Windows detects a problem, it automatically will run it for you. I'm sure we all know somebody who has Windows 10 who could probably use that setting to fix without asking. Most of us geeks would be like, yeah, ask me first. But your average user, this could work really, really well for the couple of times where they have a problem. You don't have to have uh, them calling you for some free help. So I'm leaving mine at ask before fixing problems. But there you go. We just thought you'd like to take a look at how troubleshooting has changed coming up in May of 2019. Uh, currently, you'd have to be running a preview build, which is what I'm running, so that I can show you this type of stuff. So, And once again, your troubleshooters all remain here if you need to use them. So there you go. And that is how to run the Windows 10 troubleshooters automatically, as needed, etc. So as always, we thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.